those covers and stuff like that. So yeah, it's uh, yeah, I just like to kind of switch things up and do things that aren't really I think expected of me. Yeah, yeah, it and, throws uh, people off, man. It gives them that surprise yeah. factor, and also like you may turn on people to other styles of music. Uh, speaking about covers, yeah. Post Malone, man, like that dude has some great covers as well like my wife she's a big fan of his regular music i, I like yeah. most of it you know but I, i'm i'm into a lot more different music than she is whenever she shows me something like him covering sturgill's you can have the crown i'm like what that's the same dude that's pretty cool yeah yeah that that guy man I, i'm i'm kind of like yeah i can't say i'm a super fan i like his first record i'm a pretty big fan of his second one but but as like an artist i i respect that guy a lot because I, he's doing the same thing just in an opposite way doing covers that people wouldn't expect him to do but you know he's a texas kid and you know texas guy and um yeah he did i saw that he did a good cover like a brad paisley song that i'm gonna miss her song. yeah and yeah. It, was, it was and i think it's the same it's just the same thing like people that probably listened to him weren't expecting those when i heard him do that sturgill cover i was pretty blown away by that and um i heard he's doing an album with dwight yokum's band i don't know if that's true or not oh man that would be killer right there because i, I was uh i done some research into him a little bit and yeah he was in like country bands before he became like this big yeah. rap star that he was uh for the people out there listening yeah. you can actually find a really old cover of him doing bob dylan's don't think twice it's all right oh. and he kills it man like he does yeah. a great job on it that was i think that's probably the video that i saw that like really made me like think that or realize that i really like this guy i was like man all right, because I was kind of whatever. Everyone's kind of hyped on him, and people were liking his stuff. And I saw him do that, and I was like, all right, there's something more to him. And then I looked into him kind of like, as well, like you were saying. And, yeah, just found out, you know, he's a country guy that grew up on that stuff as well. But that cover, I think I've heard a lot of people cover that song, and he's he, he does that song well. He's a great singer. And, uh, yeah, doing his song is uh, is fun. But, and I... I it's crazy too that people want to hear these songs. Like I'll hear most of my shows, you'll hear "Go Flex" yelled out like, <laughs> yeah. throughout the entire show, and you know, which I can't really pull it off because my piano player doesn't really go out with me too much anymore, and I don't know how to play it. But it's yeah, I, it's fun stuff. But yeah, and I don't know that stuff. Just I don't know. I've always just looked at music as a whole, and not really tried to be like I'm this kind of music fan. Or yeah. this kind of music fan, or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Whenever you, uh, the, one of the artists that you're into, you find out that like he, they actually are in it for the love of the music. You can kind of tell when somebody's in this type of pr profession for either the money or the fame or whatever it is. With somebody yeah. like you and Post Malone and people like that, you can just tell that like you actually enjoy what it is that you're doing, and that's why you can come off the wall with these crazy covers and surprise people because like it's i think it's good to have a wide musical taste for artists to have that because you never know what type of inspiration you can find in uncommon places yeah and that's that's how it is with me i was talking about my brothers like my dad was a huge or is uh, a huge like old like old bluegrass fan like old classic country stuff so i'd be going through his records when he's not home and then when he's home my brothers are gone I'm going through like their punk and metal records and hip hop records so I was just like there was always some kind of music being played and uh -huh. I, I just grew up with so many different kinds of music around me and just I knew from a very early age it's what I wanted to do and then that kind of leads into it being fun like I, I've always said that I'll stop playing whenever it's not fun anymore I, I, I don't see any other reason to do it. Like, I love doing it. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's definitely got its, there's low points to it, and, but the high points, and there's just not, no better feeling than, to me, than playing or when you finish making a record or something, just the feeling of it is, mm -hmm. it's just good. Yeah, it's fun. And it's the only reason that I got into it, and I'm just glad that I still feel that way about it. 